diesel engines they don't have the nicest rep among car enthusiasts that's because they produce a lot of black smoke they're not the most intuitive while driving and in general they're just a very dirty engine to run well there is always a yin to the yang diesel engines have a higher compression resistance they have longer strokes and that allows these engines to have tons of torque but there's only one problem they don't make a good noise but we're going to talk about that in this video today we have one of our favorite diesel picks. This is a Gen 4 Audi A6 3 liter TDI Quattro. And underneath what seems like a very unassuming sedan beats a heart that has a lot of tuning potential and can push some ridiculous numbers for a diesel car. Well, today we're gonna to talk everything torque and how to make this thing sound like a baby Nissan GTR. Welcome to TDH and this is Autoculture. Okay, so we've got to come clean. The car that you see currently in frame and the car that I was talking with in the start of the video are two completely different cars. We reviewed a stage 2 A6 diesel while we were in Bangalore, but our mic decided to give us zero audio. And that day, we couldn't do anything. So today, I, voiceover Soham, will tell you about the experience of driving the stage 2 car while it's taking some reference from the stock car that we have over here in Pune. Well, let's start off with one of the main problems that we over at TDH have with diesel cars and that is related to this. Not only do they exhaust throughout tons of black smoke, but the sound of the 3 liter TDI Quattro in this Audi A6, well, it's pretty much non-existent. It's like a bunch of tractors running together. And that's a problem for us car enthusiasts because half of the fun in driving a tuned car is having the amazing exhaust note. But Engineering Exponent has found the solution to this problem. They have developed an exhaust system which is so nice for the A6 3-liter TDI that it basically sounds like a Nissan GTR. They have, de they have developed a very unique downpipe and an exhaust system with megaphone mufflers. And if you hear it, you'll basically think it's a Nissan GTR. Have a listen. Yup, I know that sounded amazing and this is what is making that noise. This is a 3 liter V6 TDI engine and it has a single turbocharger. Stock it used to make 245 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Now with the downpipe, the exhaust, the stage 2 tune from Wolf Moto, it produces 305 to 310 bhp and 620 to 625 newton meters of torque and what is more impressive is that there is definitely more room for improvement in terms of the tune because it's a very conservative tune and you can also take this engine up to stage 3 with a turbocharger upgrade once you do that you can expect north of 400 bhp out of this thing which is going to be nuts and moreover this thing has an all-wheel drive quattro system so it doesn't struggle to put down the power like a 530d so let's hop into the interior and quickly go over the looks of the interior interior. Now all of the noise and drama that the Stage 2 A6 makes with its amazing exhaust system, the interior is the exact opposite of it. It's a premium luxurious sedan. So the interior is very nice and plush. You have wood trim, you have a Bose sound system, you have nice leather, soft touch materials everywhere. You have tons of room in the back. You can basically sleep in the back seat if you want to. You have sunshade, you have the whole business at the back seat and even in the front. You have a good infotainment system, a very futuristic 
uh, instrument cluster for the time it came out and let's be honest I know the A6 is now aging quite a lot but it's not like you're gonna miss out on any extra features apart from Android Auto or Apple CarPlay which is very easily uh, modifiable in a VAC car nowadays. Let's talk about some of the driving dynamics of the Audi A6. Well, a BMW is very sharp. You can immediately feel that it has a very pointy and sharp front end. You can feel almost everything from the steering wheel. The Audi is not like that. It's a pretty numb experience, especially the steering wheel. The engine is immense. You have tons of torque and you can basically overtake anything, anywhere, however you want. And the most impressive thing about it is, is that it has an all-wheel drive system, so it's never going to struggle to put down the power. Now this transmission, it's not the snappiest of transmissions. Yep, it's pretty quick for a transmission of this sort and diesel transmission in and of itself aren't the fastest. But yeah, I would like to have the transmission a little bit more snappier. The A6 is not a precision tool like most Audis. It rides on air suspension. Yes, it does have different driving modes, but the changes aren't that drastic. The A6 3.0-litre TDI is amazing for a street build or even an amateur drag build for India. The Quattro all-wheel drive system ensures loads of grip and a bucket load of torque on tap literally thrusts you back into your seat. The Stage 2 mods done on this car give it that extra urgency while accelerating and the tune made by Wolf Performance makes the power band linear. Still, the real power can be felt after 2000 RPM when the turbo is completely spooled up and after that it is basically bye-bye. And we say bye-bye! The exhaust system is definitely the party trick for this particular car. When we had organized a meetup in Bangalore, this car when it arrived, everyone genuinely thought an R35 GTR had rolled up. Impressive stuff. Getting onto the design, the A6 3.0-litre TDI is not a special looking car by any means. The 530D gets the M Sport kit which at least gives it some sort of aggression, some nicer wheels and a nicer stance. But the A6 didn't come with any sort of S-line trim. Well, I know this must be having an S-line bag somewhere, but it doesn't have the proper S-line treatment. Whereas the 530D M Sport gets more aggressive bumpers, a nicer interior. The S-line treatment is basically a bunch of badges here and there and maybe a little nicer of an interior. You can do some aesthetic mods and some really nice looking aesthetic mods in that sense. You can get the RS kit for this car which makes it look like an RS6. And for the time when it was launched back in 2010, 2011, whenever it was launched, this particular A6 was way ahead of its time, especially in terms of the lighting technology that it had. It had some really trick looking lights. If you look at the front, the lights just look mesmerizing even today. And this was one of the trend setters at the time when it came to DRLs and all of this amazing lighting technology. But the A6 isn't all fairy tale. Yes, it is a good compromise between luxury, power and fuel economy too. But the A6 does have its own problems, like the air suspension failing which is easily a job upwards of 2 lakh rupees. Then it being a German car, most of the tech is also electronic. Electrical issues are very common and sometimes very expensive to repair as well. Yes, the A6 might be cheap to buy in the used market. You can get them at the same price as a brand new i20 N-Line. But do keep in mind that when they were launched, it costed 50 plus lakh rupees to purchase. So the maintenance and spares will be equally as expensive. This is that one type of car that can do basically everything that you want. It's super versatile. Inside, it's a luxurious premium sedan and you can take your whole family on a weekend road trip if you want. It has air suspension, that means you can drop it, you can raise it, you can do whatever you want. Moreover, it's a beast once you start modifying it. Uh, stage 2, like I said, over 300 bhp. Stage 3, over 400 bhp. Now, of course, that depends on your budget. Talking about budget, let's talk about how much you can pick this up in the second 
second hand market the a6 cd tdi is now basically a 10 year old car so you can pick these up anywhere between 11 to 15 to 16 lakhs depending on condition year and the variant of course and once you pick this up at a good deal trust me it's a car that you don't want to let go because the tuning potential is immense and definitely if i was into diesel cars and if i had something like this i wouldn't think twice and i would immediately start modding it and i would definitely call up the boys at engineering exponent to get that insane exhaust system thank you so much for watching this video check out tdh classifieds where we're selling tuna cars just like this car well not this particular car because it's stock but we have an amazing collection of tuna cars available in our inventory so if you're interested in buying a tuner car definitely check out tdh classifieds till then subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram at the drivers hub check out our website thedrivershub.com where we post articles on the daily and i'll see you in the next one